Come on, we need to get all this pasta and the meatballs out to the customers. These guys look dangerous, Patrick. What is that? How dare you treat them a kitchen like a rinky dink tutorial? Stand back. The real superheroes are here, Nam. Don't be afraid to fight dirty. Dirty like a king. Red squad! Ugh, I'm gonna debone you, kid! Watch and learn, newbie. The coon's on deck! The rest of you, try not to die. Get coon! Pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stockpot, little shit! I'm gonna put boogers and cum all over you, little fuckers! Turn is now property of Scoonin' Friends. I'm gonna force feed you corn and harvest your fatty liver. <laughs> that ought to break down your collagens. Tell them what you're made of, butthole! Guess we can store your corpses in the walk-in for a good six weeks. Hold still! <laughs> That's tenderizing. Sorry to break up the pizza party. I'm going to turn you into a brachiola that make it the mouth water. <sighs> Going for blood, guys. Nine and ten. <sighs> hey, I only take abuse from the head chef in this kitchen. Yeah. Good. Oh yeah, this one bleeds real nice. Got a beating on deck! Huh. Yeah. You ever clean out a grease trap, kid? Well, you're gonna! Yeah. You want a cream fresh bukake with that? I'm counting on you, partner! Ha! <laughs> These guys are no match for us! Now that's a left-handed spatula! Totally in the shit here. You're about to become just another stain on my apron. Mm. Oh, me oh mama, I'm like a lamb to the slaughter. That is fine. You're gonna clean so many pots and pans for that. The coon will bring you dastardly chefs to justice. Wow, we just made it a pasta and this scassini. <laughs> if they touch me again, I'm making you all bus boys. I'm gonna grill you under a brick. Ouch! Tapping on deck! I'm ascending you home. Oh my god, the butler's uh. lucky. Prepare to be swarmed. I suck you, and now it sucks to be you. Watch this, new kid. I'm gonna do something fucking sweet. I'm 86. Don't mess this up, dickbag. Do that again, and I flatten you like a like a dead up dip dip piadina. Now I pounded your noodle into the resume. Your attack only fuel my rage. Oh shit, the head chef's dead. I'm the new head chef. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Coonan friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. Hmm, maybe we could trigger my diabetic rage somehow. Of course, with my super strength, I could knock it over. But I can't use apple juice without my... Wait, that's it? You're fart, psychic! 
your terrible farts and throw me into fits of rage. Of course. The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers. We've got to get through there and get the classy sidekick for the good of South Park. For coon and friends, I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. All right, ready when you are. And work. Yeah. We did it. The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, psychic, know that you can fart in my face. Hold on, Psychic. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, diabetes! <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. And you let them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That chicken that pussy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom farted during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. And that is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah, what the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! Ah! Wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. 
much. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Uh-uh, that's not fair. Y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people's turns and shit. Spread the itch. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. This might sting. I feel no pain. Punch someone for the coon, fart lord. Shit, shit, hang on. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey, Siri, fucking take a note. Tell my wife to fuck off because I'm fighting. Poop emoji. I learned this watching daytime TV. <laughs> uh-huh. Classy like the way you move. Like a fucking jungle cat. Give it up, you and your tiny pews. She sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sharon I was here? Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, XO, send. to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat. So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole start working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? 
Oh, that Cass? Okay, that's his little Asian freak name, Yakibaba, some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. <laughs>